Hello, uh, this video is related to uh, chapter 7, problem number 3. Uh, the question is about a public project that is proposed for a city in Minnesota. Four alternatives are identified for this project. The following table summarizes the economic data. If I 8% and N 30 years, which alternative should be selected? So we have four alternatives, A, B, and C, D as well. Uh, and we have equipment cost, we have installation cost, we have a profit per year. So what you could do, the first thing you have to find the total cost and installation cost. This is something that has been done at the beginning of the lifetime of these projects. And therefore we should include it as a as a part of the equipment cost. So whenever you have to install one of these alternatives, you have to pay some installation cost. And I would recommend to use this installation cost as the uh, part of the equipment cost. So we have this uh, alternatives, A, B, C, and D, and we have equipment cost, installation cost, profit per year, and then what you need to do, you have to add another row as I did here and add the equipment cost and the installation cost. So for A, 750,000 plus 200,000, that would give you $950,000, the total installation, the total initial cost. And this is in a present format. So what we need to do next is to convert this into the annual worth. It's just easier. We've done so many problem and questions using the annual worth analysis. So let's use the annual worth analysis as the calculation based. So we're going to use the annual worth as the calculation based, and therefore we have to find the annual worth for cost. How we could do that? We use the PMT function for 8%, 30 years, and uh, the present value, which is the $950,000. And then we do the same thing for B, for C, and for D. Uh, again, what we did, just to repeat one more time, uh, Alternative B, what we need to do, we have to add the initial cost, the equipment cost, plus the installation cost. And in this case, you will have 525,000 plus 190,000. And that would give you $715,000. And then the next, what we do after you find the total cost, you find the annual worth using the PMT function. 8%, uh, 30 years, and um, the total cost of $715,000. And you do the same thing. Once you build your equation, what you could do, you could uh, drag and, and take it to the right. So you select it from the lower right corner, and you do like this, and this will copy the same cell as a previous cell. Uh, one thing that I would like to mention here, we are dealing with the cost here as a positive number, so we're not going to see a negative number here. It's not like when you build your cash flow. When you need to build your cash flow, I agree we have to do a negative sign for the, uh, for the cost, and this will help you to uh, understand which, is, uh, which uh, transaction is uh, come into your pocket or which transaction is going, which one is gains, and which one is um, uh, uh, cost. So in this in this chapter in particular, the BC analysis, we deal with the cost as a as a positive. We're looking into the ratio. This is why we're looking for that because we're looking into the ratio between the B and the C, the benefit and the cost. And it would be nice just to keep the cost as a positive number. And therefore, what we did here, we added that we reversed the function. Uh, to include the negative sign in front of the PMT function, and that would give you a positive number. Next, the next step, what, next step, what we need to do, we need to rank these alternatives from low total cost to high uh, total cost. So if you look into this row right here, you will see that the uh, lowest cost between these alternatives, between these alternatives would be D, and then B, then C, then A. So we ranked B, we ranked this, the alternatives as this, D, B, C, and A. 
And then for the incremental analysis, we select the least expensive alternatives. So we're going to start with a D and B, and then we subtract the higher cost from the lower cost. So B minus D. So what we're looking for, we're looking into two parameters, the B and the C, the benefit and the cost. So these are what we're looking for. The benefit is right here. Uh, we subtract the benefit for B minus the benefit for D, and that would be 35,000 minus the 22,000. That would be equal to 13,000. And we do the same thing here uh, for the cost, and make sure to use the annual worth because we need to, we agreed that uh, annual worth would be the base for our calculation. And so for the annual worth would be uh, about 63,000 minus the 39,000. And that will give you about uh, 23,500. And the last step would be just divide the benefit by uh, over the cost. So the BC ratio would be the benefit over the cost. So these two numbers that we found, you divide the 13,000 by the 23,000, and that would give you a BC ratio of uh, 0.55, um, um, 0.55 basically. This is the BC ratio. And from this, what we could understand, we could say, okay, since the BC ratio is less than one, we select the alternative that has a less cost. So what we could do, we say uh, select D and eliminate, um, eliminate, eliminate B. Okay, just to double check on the um, spelling here. And then what we could do once we s we selected D uh, and we eliminated B. Now we sel we used an incremental analysis between D and the next one. So B is out. The next one would be C. So C minus D is the next incremental analysis. You divide. Uh, you found, first of all, you find the benefit by subtracting uh, C minus D, 45,000 minus 22,000, divided, uh, divided by the cost, uh, which is the, uh, which is the 64,000 divided by 39,000, and that would give you a 0.92 BC, BC ratio. And uh, then what we need to do then next would be um, we select D. Why is D? Because the BC ratio is less than 1. Therefore, we select the one with a lower uh, cost. And then uh, we know that C, uh, this, this option should be eliminated. Uh, now, B, C, uh, these are the two options that we have eliminated. That would leave it with between A and D. Uh, these are the two options that we need to uh, eliminate or to select one of them. One would one should be eliminated and one should be selected. And uh, since A has a higher cost than D, so we do the incremental an analysis as A minus D. So what we're looking for again, we're looking into benefit and the cost, starting with the benefit, which is the profit per year, uh, 50 minus the 22, uh, that would give you 28,000. And then for the cost would be the 84,000 minus the 39,000, that would give you about 44,000. And then the last step would be finding the BC ratio by dividing these two numbers. Uh, so 28 divided by the 44, that would give you a 0.63, which again, this ratio is less than one, and therefore we should select the less expensive uh, alternative, and in this case, we select D. D is the survivor. The last thing we should do is just write a sentence, say uh, the uh, uh, alternative, alternative D, is the best alter is the best to be selected okay so that's basically it uh, one one thing that I would like to show you but I don't recommend it again I don't recommend it um, this is something uh, it might work 
it depends on the case it might work and it might not work so the things that I want to share with you is this right here that I'm hiding it behind this so I'm gonna move it and what I did here I built a cash flow if you remember the old methodology that we use in the past uh, chapter 3 I believe or 2 uh, and we find the net present value for each of these alternatives and I built, I said, okay, here's the total cost. Total initial cost would be the um, equipment cost plus the installation cost. And I did this for A, B, C, and D. And then also uh, I found the benefit for each of these years over the 30 years. And then I used the NPV function. And it seems that uh, option D, alternative D, would be the less expensive one between these alternatives. And this would be the uh, same decision that we made use, using the BC ratio analysis. This is just another way to double check on your answer. But again, this is I don't recommend to do this. Um, some of the cases would work, some of them would not work, but I'm just uh, saying this, just another way to double check on your answer, And uh, but in, in real life, I don't want you to use this uh, un unless it is said you have to use the cash flow or the net present value analysis, but if the a question asks you to use the BC ratio, you have to do the incremental analysis, uh, starting with ranking low to high, and then we start with uh, uh, least expensive alternatives. Uh, thank you. I hope this is helpful. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks.